so they're talking about Foster with the Arizona Burn Center I imagine firecracker fast enough. So this is a joint effort here and this is Michael Novakoski, councilman with the city of Phoenix. Uh, you had a very important point. No firework is a safe firework as we see. Oh no absolutely. You know I have five children of my own and they love those sparklers and just imagine a thousand degrees in this, a child's hand. So that's what today's all about is educating parents about how dangerous fireworks are. Two years ago in my district somebody let go of a firework uh, firecracker went into a neighbor's yard they, they were actually on vacation and their grass caught on fire so if it wasn't for the neighbors calling the Phoenix firefighters their house would have been burnt down to the ground so that's how dangerous firefighter fireworks are and that's why it's so important to educate yourselves about fireworks also you know there's um, fines if you actually purchase fireworks that aren't aren't allowed it's up to a thousand dollars that you can get fined by the city of Phoenix so you need to make sure that you educate yourself on fireworks. Pretty incredible. Thank you so much for your effort. Uh, Dr. Uh, Kevin Foster with the Arizona, Arizona Burn Center, correct? Arizona Burn Center at Maricopa Integrated Health Systems. All right, and so you just keep looking at me, doctor. Yes, we were talking about some pretty uh, scary statistics every year on the 4th of July. Without a doubt, you treat many, many children who suffer from burns because of simple things like the sprinklers. Yes, that's, that's exactly right. I think parents are pretty good at keeping their kids away from the big explosion loading fireworks, but the little sparklers and little popper things that you buy at the grocery store or at uh, the drugstore, those we assume are safe, and they're not safe. They can cause pretty serious injury. Talk about some of the injuries that you've seen caused by uh, the fireworks people buy and set off at home. So we see things that vary from just simple superficial burns to more severe burns to close catching on. Boy, have we been treated to some incredible lightning shows. Got a new picture in this morning. Jill from explosions. Pretty incredible. It is. All right. Thank you so much for all the information. Uh, we have a couple more demos to go to. We will, of course, uh, bring you all of the exciting video and later editions of Fox 10, and then we'll put a link up to uh, the Phoenix Fire Department's website. There are a lot of do's and don'ts, as you can imagine, when it comes to fireworks, what you can set off, what you can't set off, um, what's legal, what isn't. For example, if it's windy outside, don't do it. So a lot of good tips oh, yeah. on the website out there. A great reminder. You you think they're fun, you think they're safe, but you just never know. And it's not worth it, that's for sure. Okay, thank you so Thanks. much, Anita. Thanks, Anita. Let's go over here and okay. talk about fireworks. But another yeah. thing that I that I read is if it flies, in other words, if it goes in the Up air, in the air. Okay. it's illegal. Oh, okay. Well, that's a that's good rule to, to follow. Easy to remember. Easy to remember. Yeah. yeah. You know, there. the thing is, Beginning to limit our storms. It's after today. Today we still think things are going to get pretty active. In Futurecast timeline here in the corner is going to show you uh, what I mean. As we head toward about 10 o'clock this morning, things may start to get going in eastern Arizona and probably by about lunchtime. <laughs> Definitely. Unless you're an Italian family living in the Bronx. <laughs> Whole different story there. Right. So we've listed the celebrations on our Scene on TV page. So we've already got it pulled up here. And then there's a link right here, July 4th event listings. And we will pull it up for you because right there, there it is, it's thinking. Um, there is all sorts of um, different places in different parts of town. Oops. Here, hold on, Rick. Let me just help you out oh, there. A little bell okay. commercial there. So we've got the City of Surprise, 4th of July celebration, Chan Valley, about 20% today. Any storms that do form, though, we have a chance for them to be very strong. The uh, Storm Prediction Center has once again put Arizona in this category today where we have this marginal risk. The areas in that darker green there have an elevated risk of strong storm. I grew up going to that one. They've had That's that one, one for many, many years. Look at all of them. There are yeah. so many more. Veterans uh, Park in Tolleson. Mm, fourth at the Fountain. I wonder where that is. What, let's see. Where? Apache Junction, 105 for Tempe as well, and 104 today in Scottsdale and Chandler, 103 for Moon Valley, and 105 today in downtown Phoenix. West Valley, 107 for Surprise, 106 for Peoria, and 105 today for Glendale. Next couple of days, again, some drier air is going to drop our storm chances down even more. It's only about a 10% chance for Thursday and Friday, although we'll be a little warmer Friday at 109. Your 4th of July forecast, 107, with just a 10% chance of storms here in the valley. Oh, and muggy. April, thank you. So I might be able to just see those from my backyard. You're really out there, though. I know. Let's face it. You've reminded to, me. There's nothing to block the vision because you're out there in the <laughs> desert. Plus, almost everyone loves tacos, right? Corey is checking out one downtown restaurant that's finding a way to celebrate the...